In this video, we're going to look at two areas of the putting game. We're going to look at actually looking at the stroke itself and looking at Sam Putt Lab and seeing if that might be able to help our member that's uh, volunteered his time. And we're also going to look at the custom fit side of things. And I've asked Scotty Cameron Titleist guys to come in and do a custom fit on a, on a member and to see if that can help improve that player's, uh, that player's putting game. So let's have a little look. Putting Green at Torquay Golf Club. Uh, we have Jeff Holland, member of the golf club, who's coming along, who's kindly volunteered. Uh, we're going to have a little look at your putting today, Jeff, aren't we? Okay. Would you say it's the best part of your game, or is it something that we need to have a little look at? I know it's probably the most important part, yeah. but certainly not the best part of my game. What would you say you struggle with most with your putting? Struggle with two, two things. Not striking the ball from the centre of the putter. Okay. Uh, my distance control. Okay, that varies. Right. So what Jeff is saying that he he says that he struggles with consistency of, of striking it out of the middle of the putter, and obviously if you're not striking it out of the middle of the putter, you're going to lose a little bit of consistency with distance control. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside. We're going to have a little look at um, Jeff's putting stroke on the sand putt lab, and then uh, and then we're going to set him up with a couple of drills to see what uh, see if we can improve that. Let's go inside and have a little look. So here we are, we're looking at Jeff Holland's um, striking pattern from the first testing on Sam Pat Lab. Now, I played with, uh, with Jeff yesterday in a pro-am and he was really, really struggling with his pace control, obviously for longer putts, but, and you can kind of see now why he's struggling a little bit. Um, you know, he's getting everything quite a way out of the heel of the putter. Um, we're going to go and take him on the putting green and, uh, and have a little look and see if we can um, set up a drill that can really help him. So uh, let's have a little look. Just been in and had a little look at Jeff's data from the Sam Putt Lab, and you will have seen that a lot of his striking patterns tend to be a little bit more towards the heel of the putter. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to set up the little T drill, I call it, um, and it's putting through the gate of, of two T's. It's just just about a width of the putter. Um, we're going to put the ball in the middle, and we're going to ask Jeff to start putting and start striking the ball through the middle of this position here. What you'll probably see is Jeff will start to hit the outside T as he comes through. We're going to get him to do this for a little period of time and hopefully he'll start to sort of move that putter more towards coming through to the left side which will start to strike it more at the centre of the putter for him. Let's, uh, let's get him uh, doing the drill and let's see what Sam Putt Lab does following on from that. As you could see there early on, he was starting to hit the, the outside of the gate, then he moved to the inside of the gate a little bit. Um, and then he was trying to find that sort of happy medium area coming through. How did you feel that went? How did you feel that drill was, Jeff? It's, it's a good drill, no doubt. Uh, the T pegs, they certainly focused the mind. Yeah. And uh, I felt for sure I was striking the ball better. Okay. Yeah. This drill really does help. What we're going to do now is. Um, we're going to take him back into the sand putt lab, have a little go on there and then see what, the, see what that striking pattern. I'm expecting to see it more out the centre. I'm certainly seeing a better roll from what Jeff is producing when he's hitting those putts and we actually hold a few putts towards the end as well, didn't we? So uh, let's go in the sand putt lab and have a little look. Here's Jeff's um, new pattern, should we say, after working on the drill and then coming in and doing a, another assessment on the sand putt lab. You can see there that he's definitely moved his striking pattern more towards the centre. Yeah, he's not bang on the middle yet, but I think he's certainly working in a good position. It was so far from the heel side that it just made it so hard for him to get consistency with that, and uh, I really think this is going to make him a better putter moving forward. His consistency there on the side there you can see is just a little bit low, um, but I think as he goes on and he continues working with that drill, I think you'll start to see, uh, or Jeff will start to see becoming a better putter and putting a better roll on it, and ultimately um, getting more consistency with his longer putts. We've got Ben Hiscock from uh, Titleist, he's, in with the, uh, he's brought in some Scotty Cameron putters today, so we're going to have a little look at um, some fitting. Welcome Ben. Cheers Dan. Thank you very much for coming along. Yeah, no um, 
Most of you will have seen Ben before because he used to be a talkie boy or still lives in Torquay. So still a talkie boy, stay through away. He's uh, talkie through and through. We're going to do a fitting. I mean, you see so many different people, obviously, different heights, different builds and different strokes. Yeah. What would you start to look at? How would you start to fit that person? So ultimately, when, a, when someone's fitted, for golf clubs generally, it's obviously we're looking to optimise their, their performance and their delivery, delivery of the head. But when we do our typical days, I've got sort of 35 putters of different lengths and, and lots of different head designs. I'll have the select range along with the future range as well. Yeah. And one of my first kind of ports of call is, what do you like the look of? What's your, what's, what are you drawn to? And we kind of work with a preference and then kind of look at the stroke, look at the habitual kind of shape of the arc. Yeah. And then right, we'll, we'll kind of go down a, a performance line and get you into something that's going to be nice and repeatable. But a visual with a putter for a player is, is vitally important. When players come in, we're seeing um, lots of different ideas in their mind. Are you trying to sway them a different way, or are you trying to just work with what they've brought to the, brought yeah. to the table? You've got to ask them lots of questions at the end of the day, using lines and alignment tools, and whether you use a side stamp and all these sorts of things. Uh, kind of correlate to the head design yeah. often. So the guys that do like to focus on, on a technique and think, right, this is a more of a square to square delivery. We've got our member turning up in just a moment, so we're going to do some fittings yeah. with uh, with all these putters. So uh, let's uh, let's let him in and let's uh, let's give it a go. Sounds good. all done. Um, I think Farzan was quite happy with the fitting that he had. Uh, yeah. He seemed quite excited when he left. Um, Farzan had a Scotty Cameron putter originally and he was definitely looking at trying to find something slightly different. And uh, But he liked the visual of what he got there but he wanted a slightly different feel. So Ben went through the process as we saw through the video um, of, of how he fitted him into, a, into the right putter that felt right for Farzan. We started uh, with a putter that Farzan had rolled a few putts with last week at another venue and uh, by looking at his posture straight away that we made a length change to soften his arc. Yeah. Certainly found that using a longer style putter produced quite a lot of arc because the ball was essentially a little bit too far away from him. Yeah. Certainly getting the eye line more over the heel of the putter to soften that arc. When you start rolling it right and the putters, um, the ball's coming out the middle of the putter, it's, it's hugely different. Yeah. And, uh, I think he was really pleased. I think he was, and um, I think for you guys at home, I think it's really important that you get out and have a little look at putters. Um, certainly get a feel of what, what looks right to you, and then get the pro or the, wherever you go and get your demo day that sorted out. Just make sure you get fitted, because it really can make a big difference. It made a big difference for Farzan. So his stroke is looking a lot better than when he first started, and, uh, and I put it down to the fact we didn't necessarily coach him, mm. but we gave him a putter that kind of uh, helped him produce a better roll on the ball. And, uh, and we definitely saw that, and he saw that as well. So All we can say is take this area of the game seriously, all right? It's taking up a third of your golf, so just make sure that you get yourself fitted, make sure you've got the right putter. Um, if you need to spend a bit of money and get it right, make sure you do that. It's really, really important. We'd like to see you spend a bit more money on putting than necessarily driving. Um, because ultimately this is what's spending most of the time in your hand throughout the round. So get this right. That was really, really interesting to see what uh, Jeff has done with his putting stroke. Uh, I've not given him necessarily a technique to work on there. I was purely working on him with a drill. This is something I think you can work on yourselves. Centerness of strike is so, so important. Not so just in the long game, but certainly in the putting side of things. I kind of thought that that might happen with, the, with that drill. I think it works really, really well. The other thing that we looked at is obviously the custom fit side of things as well. And, and I thank Ben for coming in to do that with us. It's really, really important that you get yourselves custom fit. We, we all go to these demo days and, and smash drivers and this. And putting is so, so important. Seriously consider getting self-fitted for whatever the putter it is, that you, whether you need to fit the own putter you've got or whether you get another one fitted for you. Hey, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do. Uh, give it the thumbs up down below. 
if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're on Twitter. And if you want to follow us on Facebook, we're on Facebook. Um, get yourself involved with the Sam Putt Lab. Have a go. Go to your local pro or find one locally to you and get involved. Have a little go on it. And, uh, and I'm absolutely certain it will improve your putting stroke. Thanks for watching.